Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. We've got another Defender 110 with us. And as you know, we've got one other in stock, but we're going to cover this and cover overall why you should perhaps consider buying a Defender 110. And um, here's why. What is it I like about the Defender 110? Well, there's a lot to it than just a couple of uh, simple little things. Uh, it, this probably has everything that I like in a Defender. Snorkel because of how it looks. It's in my favorite color, the British Racing Green. I love how these vents look. It's got the Dewlander, um nice off-roading tires. It's got the grills uh, for the front lights here, the bar, just, you know, the little uh, subtle changes that someone has done but not taking away from the originality of the Defender. What I like about it is as soon as you come to the Defender you've got these side steps to actually climb into it should you want. This is uh, utterly original. I mean it's still got that big massive Land Rover steering wheel. This has a five um, speed gearbox. Mileage wise uh, when we got it it had just done under 100,000 miles and it's just gone over 100,000 miles at 100,094 miles. Overall this has the air conditioning as you would want and should you want you can have some natural air conditioning by just opening these, uh, these, these outside things just to have some natural air pu uh, pulling through. It's got the microphone Bluetooth connectivity for your music and for your telephone calls and now if you come to the back of it comparing the 110 with the 90 I don't like the claustrophobia compact nature of the 90 whereas the 110 gives you all the extensive uh, spacious space you need for your dogs or if you've got kids or if you're actually going to be carrying a lot of gear i.e. for camping. Now to off to the back as discussed you find some additional space here. This has just been freshly valeted. I'm not sure if I want to walk um, onto this beautiful, nicely immaculate carpet. I mean, God, just, just look at it and um, yeah. Additionally, you get the manual operating rear windows so they nicely slide out. I absolutely love them. I think they just reminds me of the quirkiness and the nostalgia that we used to get with older cars as I was growing up. And uh, let's shut this. You've got your spare wheel, you've got these LED lights and overall this Defender is as original as it gets. Now let's talk about the engine. Okay, here we have the engine. Let's put the bonnet up. The TD5. Well, this is the TD5, the direct injection turbo diesel engine. This in 1998 replaced the TDI um, because of the upcoming Euro 3 emissions because the TDI no longer complied with it. Therefore, um, here comes the 2.5 litre five-cylinder inline turbo diesel engine which was, you know, in some ways well received but there were some traditionalists that were skeptical due to the very the, due to the use of many electronic control modules etc because some people felt that under extreme driving conditions they wouldn't hold up especially due to the off-roading activities or the off-roading nature that some people have perhaps used this those skepticals were actually proved um, proved wrong because the TDI, the TD5s are extremely reliable, very highly desired and um, have kept its, its, its original value extremely, extremely well. Aside from just the reliability that we've discussed, what I most like about the Defender is just the quirkiness and the character and overall, um, you know, the way it looks because as soon as you drive it, somebody is bound to look at you or give you a thumbs up or another Defender owner will wave at you. But let's get it on the road and drive it and talk to you a little bit more about the performance and what it's like to handle. And let's take it out for a drive which is my favorite part of these cars. Well, with the Defender, the experience begins from the get-go, whereby you're climbing into the car, shutting the door behind you, and a lot of the times, you think it's shut, but it's not. So, just got to make sure that it is shut. Seat belt on, 
Safety comes first. Let's start this. From the get-go, these are these are a bit of an adventure to drive. You've got to work with the defender, not against it. We are sort of on a off-road kind of an environment, like we are, and this is where these cars come in extremely handy. This is where these cars are built for, a road like this, full of humps, potholes, perhaps, maybe just a very rough, rugged road. They have extremely good capability um, from, you know, climbing hills, going downhill, you know, just used on farms, safaris, etc. Now, let's talk about the performance that you get out of the the performance that you get out of the TD5. Well, BHP wise, the 2.5 diesel inline five cylinder turbo turbo charged engine will give you 130 brake horsepower. So you might think, well, hang on a second, that's that's not a lot of BHP. Well, these cars are extremely torquey. You get 300 newton meters of torque. The 0 to 60 is not in a blisteringly three seconds, but as a matter of fact, 17.5 seconds. But once once you get going, they are no slouch because the top speed you can hit in these is 81 miles per hour. Now, MPG-wise, combined, you're looking at about 26 MPG on the motorway, 29 MPG. And in the city, you're looking at about 20 miles per gallon. We're doing close to 50 miles an hour, comfortable. It's not noisy. And it does actually have um, air conditioning. Uh, the buttons are here to my right side. Now, comfortably doing 50 miles an hour, steering is very light, very easy to move. This, this one has the modern technology that you would expect in terms of Bluetooth connectivity, um, making mobile uh, telephone calls, listening to your music, etc. And you get a little microphone that is hanging there. Now, not only are they pretty good, on the motorway but they are as I said absolutely superb from an off-roading point of view the 110 is extremely practical it is a proper utilitarian very well made car now we move into the mechanical aspect of it in terms of servicing and in terms of what this the, what this one has had in terms of work the overall cosmetic condition it's, it's, it's been kept in really good condition overall so there isn't any any complaints in that regard it's had uh, it's had a it's had a PDI it's had a health check and um, all it needed was the fuel pressure regulator um, and other than that it was actually MOT'd and serviced I think it had a major service by the uh, by the previous owner so should you be looking for a Defender 110 we have two in stock as it stands and this is one of the two and it's ready to go ready to be enjoyed ready to have another hundred thousand miles put on it so thank you for tuning in thank you for being here supporting us whatever we make from the youtube channel gets donated to charity uh, we do make some money out of it um, you know 200 pounds on average from the two YouTube channels we have so gives us a thumbs subscribe and comment and let me know what you guys think of the Defender 110 and maybe what I should cover the next time we have one of these or the next time I do a video on a, whether it's a 110 or whether it's a 90 so once again thank you for tuning in and um, thank you as always for the support bye bye